Hello there, this is White Paper Cat, and we're going to be doing a review on a little project that came across on GitHub, uh, written in Golang. I was trying to find an alternative to, um, the, uh, Secure Shell, um, text board that I had, and instead of having to log in through Secure Shell, you use a, um, you just use a client or your terminal or CURL to, um, make a post. So basically, um, I got this up and running currently in the background on my Raspberry Pi. Um, it currently can't change the banner without recompiling it, but I just sent in an issue um, on the Git page to the developer. So he might be working on that whenever he gets a chance. So, um, Basically, uh, he does have a client, so you don't have to keep typing CURL. So, and this is the client that I'm looking at right now. So, TCCLI and W to view the welcome message. So, that is the welcome message on the server that we're currently running on the same machine. So, I currently don't have any boards on it. So, in order to, um, add a board, we need to, uh, mess around with the database, so, eh, term chan, using SQL Lite, uses SQL Lite, oops, I think, alright, so, Open uh, config Oh man, I'm, ha I'm having another mo brain fart here DB Alright, so, and If we go back Here um, back to the project. I might have skipped over it again. So it says here in the instructions that in order to do that, you need to insert into board description, name, and style. So this is what we got to do. Type this in. So, boom. And values. So, I'm just going to paste that in and just tweak the, the uh, values here. So, we want board A to be anime. So, board A. Oops, caps lock. Want that to be blue. And yes, you can change the colors. And we want B to be random, of course, and we're going to make that red. And then we're going to make, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to do any more than two boards, so that's just a... This is just going to be a demonstration. Uh. Video games. We're going to make that... 
green for some reason. Alright. And yes, the colors do show up. I'll demonstrate this. Alright, so... Okay. So... Let's see if I can find this in my autocomplete. Alright, so... Now we're going to do... V... B... Oh, wait, now I gotta restart the thing. Okay. Control C. Start it again. And see. And that's the board. And if I were to post the board. first. So, we're going to create, and then B, and then hello there. This is a test, and we're going to, so what I'll do is I'll we'll open up, up Vim, and we're going to hit I for insert. And we're going to... Oh, wait. I don't want to edit that line. I really don't. We're going to type... Hello. There. This is a test from YouTube. I don't think... There is going... To be any one. Well, that's actually one word that is going to see this, but yeah. All right. Now we hit escape, now we hit W, and then we hit Q, and that is the post I just made, and um, in order to view it, we just, and as you can see, that's the whole board. And we can actually make a reply to that um, by doing R and then B slash and then the thread number. Let's make this screen a little bigger. I for insert. Oh yeah, I don't know why, but sometimes Vim does that to me. I, I gotta write and then quit. I can't just do WQ. I gotta do this. And then quit. As you can see, that's the reply. that I made to that thread right there, so... It actually shows up 
and then you have a list like that and um, basically what it does is it uh, it stores all of the uh, data everything in a in a uh, data file in a uh, well bleh, sorry like I said I can't think today but basically it makes a board and it store it stores everything in a database file with the name of the board that you created as I demonstrated over there but, uh, yeah, I will post the, uh, project, the link to the project in the description of the video, and, uh, have a late Merry Christmas.